Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the no login screen issue on Windows 11. The first solution that you should take in consideration is super simple and that is to reload the login screen. To do this press the Ctrl Alt Delete combination to reload the interface and access the sign in to Windows option and you can proceed as usual. Another great solution is to disable the login password. To do this press the Windows button then type in Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. And in the next window navigate to the following path. H key Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current Version and Win Logon. In here check if there's a default username string present and if you can't find one just right click on the empty space, hover the cursor over the new option then select string and name it as default username. Now double click on that string and enter your account username under value data and click OK to save the changes. Afterwards you have to create another string value and name it default password. Then double click on it, enter your account password under value data and then click on OK to save the changes. In the same space, check if there is an auto admin logon string present and in case there isn't one, just create it as a string then double click it and enter one under value data. Now you can just close registry editor to save the changes. Another solution could be to disable fast startup. To do this press the windows button then type in control panel and select it from the search results. Then click on system and security, then select power options and on the left pane click on choose what the power buttons do on the left pane and in here you can see that some options are grayed out. So you can just click on change settings that are currently unavailable option and make sure to disable the turn on fast startup option. You can also perform a startup repair. To do this you have to click on the power button then press and hold the shift key then click on restart. Or you can just power your PC three times until you enter in the Windows recovery environment. In here you have to click on troubleshoot then select advanced options then select advanced options and lastly start up repair after which you'll be asked to proceed with your account to confirm the repair process. Another useful solution is to disable startup apps. To do this press the Ctrl Shift Escape combination to launch Task Manager then navigate to the Startup tab and in here select any program that is not crucial for your operating system and click on the Disable button to prevent them from loading at startup. Lastly you can also perform a System Restore. To do this just press the Windows button then type RSTRUI and select it as a command from the search results. Then in the System Restore window just click on Choose a different restore point and then follow up with selecting the desired point in time then confirm to start the restoration process. And that's it, plenty of options to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.